<laughs> no, 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 no. You gonna pay me. I love my clients, but sometimes you get someone with a total nightmare. This is the worst that I've ever dealt with. A woman came in with her daughter. The daughter was going to get her makeup done. She was going to like a huge event. And she was about between the ages of like 16 to 18. And the mother, I remember asking the daughter if she ate something today, and the daughter said no. And I was starting to do her makeup, and the mom looked angry at the daughter, so I kind of assumed that maybe she had low blood sugar, or maybe she wasn't feeling well today. So the mom was kind of angry. She said she was going into the mall to go get her something to eat. I'm probably like 95% done at this point. And the girl didn't look so well. And all of a sudden, she throws up on me, on the floor. It touched my face. I didn't even have time to react before she passes out. Now she passes out and she falls into my arms. And I feel like I'm in the twilight zone because nobody sees this. There's nobody around. It's crazy. So covered in vomit, I run into the mall. She said she was going to one of the stores. So I run, I find her. And she's online grabbing food for the girl. So I was like, listen, she just threw up. She's not really feeling well. She passed out. She doesn't even look shocked. I'm like, what, girl? We walk back together to the counter, the girl starts eating. And I figure they're gonna leave at this point because obviously you're gonna go home and lay down, you're not feeling well. The mom turns to me and says, can you do her makeup, can you finish? I do her lashes and vomit. It was the craziest story of, of my makeup career. I hope she's doing all right. Who do I wanna start with? Well, one time a bride booked me. It was for herself and just a couple other people. I get there, I get one person's makeup done. She's like, oh, this is perfect, thank you so much. Out of the corner of my eye, I see pacing back and forth, and I'm like, what, what is going on? The bride starts to have a full-on panic attack, but then she starts screaming, I'm just gonna do my own makeup. I'm gonna do it myself. I don't know, maybe I should just, I don't know why I booked someone. I said to her, I'm like, hey, listen, I, you know, I understand if you're nervous, it's just makeup. If there's anything you don't like, you know, we could take it off. She was not having it. She had this meltdown for two hours. One of her family members came over to me and they said, can you please talk to her? I'm not Dr. Phil, I'm here to put makeup on you. You wanna know how this one ends? I spent approximately three minutes doing this girl's makeup, three minutes. And I'm like, fire in my soul, like, I've never put this little eyeshadow on anyone, but I'm just doing it to go through the motions, boopity boop, you're done. She walks over to the mirror, into the hotel room here and goes, <sighs> it's perfect. And I was just like, okay. I am, <laughs> I'm Naisha and I am a makeup artist. She was a bridal client. So we just love those bridezillas, right? She demanded that I be her makeup artist. Okay, yes, I get that a lot. I have skills a little bit. Three weeks before her wedding. I'm booked on that day, of course. Good thing I had someone who canceled so I can squeeze her in. I called her and I let her know of my fees and my deposits. She didn't want to pay a deposit. She didn't want to pay any of these fees. She just wanted me to show up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you gonna pay me. <laughs> so now we're talking face to face. She says that I'm horrible, I'm a fraud, I'm a fake. Who's fraud? Not me. She throws stuff in the room. She want me to take my hands off. She's in my space now, throwing stuff, screaming. Then she gets kicked out. She felt some type of way. She calls me, she's like, I'm so sorry. I just really freaked out, my wedding's coming up. But can you do my makeup? I pay the deposit. <laughs> No. So I go to this gig, it's for a medical practice. I don't know what they were doing, but they needed me to do hair and makeup for talent. She finally shows up, whoever this lady is, I have no idea who she is. Doesn't say hello, doesn't say anything, so I'm like, cool, it's gonna be one of these days. We get in the door and she's like, first things first. I don't really wear makeup, so I'm sure I won't like what you do. And I'm just like, okay, cool. In my head, I'm like, okay, bitch, whatever. But in her face, I'm like, cool, no problem. She's like, and another thing. I don't know what makeup you have in that bag, but I use high-end makeup. I'm talking the expensive stuff. And I'm like, first of all, sweetheart, my kit's not cheap, one. Two, how are you gonna assume that I have cheap makeup? Three, why would you hire me assuming that I have cheap makeup and I don't know what I'm doing? And I'm thinking she's gonna whip out like some Burberry, some Tom Ford, you know, the big stuff, some Chanel. I'm thinking she's gonna whip out the works. She whips out a sandwich bag and it's full of like used brushes and like some Urban Decay eyeshadow palette and like some It Cosmetics BB cream. I'm looking at her like, but I thought you, you said you had really expensive stuff in your kit, but that's neither here nor there. So I had to like take a moment and, and step back to her and say, 
Sweetheart, we can't use any of this for production. Like, this is production. I need powders, I need foundations. She thought that she was this, in her head, this high almighty, expensive, chic person, and she wasn't. And that I was just some girl with a makeup kit who knew how to do makeup. I'm like, no, sweetheart, I'm not a person who knows how to do makeup. I'm a professional makeup artist. So that being said, I just did what I had to do, and I left, took my little couple hundred dollars, and ended up being late to my next client. Just like any other job, there's gonna be crazy times, but usually things are pretty good. If you're looking to hire a makeup artist, do your research, nine times out of 10, whatever we have in our kit is more expensive than what you are. If you have any crazy stories, I'm gonna to want to read them as I'm falling asleep tonight, so drop them in the comments below. Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.